Jack's Magical Night Adventure Exploring the Starry Sky with Fireflies Once upon a time, in a village far away, there was a little boy named Jack who couldn't sleep. He tossed and turned in bed, unable to close his eyes, until one night something magical happened. As Jack lay awake, he heard a soft tinkling sound coming from outside his window. Curious, he climbed out of bed and peered outside. Mesmerized by the sight, Jack hurried outside to join the fireflies in their dance. Only to find a group of tiny creatures dancing under the moonlight. They were fireflies, their tiny bodies glowing with a soft golden light. He twirled and spun with them weaving in and out of their glowing trails as they flitted through the night sky. Suddenly, Jack felt himself being lifted off the ground, carried by the gentle breeze. He soared high above the treetops, surrounded by a shimmering canopy of stars. It was as if he had become part of the night itself, free to explore its mysteries and secrets. For hours, Jack soared through the starry sky, visiting distant planets and galaxies and meeting strange and wonderful creatures. He laughed and sang with them, sharing stories of his own adventure back on Earth. Eventually, as the first light of dawn began to break across the horizon, Jack felt himself being gently lowered back to the ground. With a contented sigh, he returned to his bed, feeling more alive and awake than ever before. As so as Jack drifted off to sleep, he smiled knowing that the night would always hold a special place in his heart, filled with dreams of starry skies and glowing of fireflies. Importance of Prayer, a heartwarming story for kids. In a bustling city nestled amidst tall buildings and busy streets live two siblings named Aisha and Omar. Despite their hectic schedule, they always made time for their prayers, understanding the importance of staying connected to their faith. One day, as they were rushing to school, they heard the call to prayer echoing through the neighborhood. Aisha glanced at her watch and realized they were running late. Let's just skip this one prayer, she suggested to Omar. But Omar shook his head, remembering their parents' teaching about the significance of prayer. We shouldn't skip our prayers, he replied firmly, Allah's blessing are with those who remember him. Reluctantly, Aisha agreed and they hurried to the nearby mosque to perform their prayers. As they bowed their heads in devotion, a sense of peace washed over him and they felt a deep connection to their faith. Later that day, as they were walking home from school, they stumbled upon an elderly man struggling to carry his groceries. Without hesitation, Aisha and Omar rushed to help him, offering to carry his bags and walk him home. The elderly man was grateful for their kindness and invited them inside for tea. As they sat together, he shared the stories of his youth and the challenges he faced. Inspired by his resilience, Aisha and Omar realized that the importance of compassion and helping others in need. 
as they bid farewell to the elderly man and continued on their way. Aisha turned to Umar with a smile. I am glad we didn't skip our prayers today. She said, it brought us closer to Allah and reminded us of the importance of kindness and empathy. Omar nodded in agreement, grateful for the lessons they had learned. Indeed, he replied, our prayers not only strengthen our bond with Allah, but also guide us to be better people. Aisha and Omar returned home that evening with a newfound appreciation for their prayers and a commitment to always prioritize their faith. And as they bowed their heads in prayer before bed, they whispered a heartfelt thanks to Allah for guiding them on a path of righteousness. The story of Aisha and Umar teaches us the importance of never skipping our prayers as they not only strengthen our connection with Allah but also instill values of compassion, empathy and kindness in our hearts. As Allah says in Quran, indeed prayers prohibit immorality and wrongdoings and the remembrance of Allah is, is greater. The tale of the brown shark. Once upon a time in the deep blue ocean, there lived a mighty shark named Spike. Spike was the biggest, fastest and strongest shark in the whole sea. He had sharp teeth, a sleek body and powerful fins. But there was one problem. Spike was very proud. Every day, Spike would swim around the coral reef. Showing off his speed and strength, he would chase smaller fish just for fun and boost. Look at me, I am the king of the ocean. No one is as strong or as fast as I am. The other creatures like the clownfish, the sea turtles and the dolphins were afraid of Spike. They stayed out of his way because they knew how proud he was. But deep down they were set because Spike never wanted to be friends with anyone. One sunny afternoon, Spike was swimming near the surface of the water, admiring his reflection. Wow, look at me, I am so powerful and strong, no one can beat me, he said to himself. Suddenly, Spike noticed something strange. A large, dark shadow was moving closer and closer. Before he could react, Spike found himself caught in a giant fishing net. He thrashed and twisted, trying to break free, but the more he struggled, the tighter the net became. Spike was terrified. Help! Somebody help me! He shouted, but none of the other sea creatures came to help. Just when Spike thought he was done for, he heard a gentle voice. Hold on Spike, we will help you. It was a small group of dolphins led by a wise old dolphin named Tipper. The dolphins worked together, using their noses and fins to carefully untangle the net from around Spike. They were gentle and patient, even though Spike had never been kind to them. Finally, Spike was free. He was exhausted and ashamed. Thank you, he said quietly. I did not deserve your help after the way I have treated you. Dipper smiled kindly. Spike, everyone needs help sometimes. It's not about being the strongest or the fastest. It's about being kind and helping each other. The sea creatures forgave Spike and from that day on, Spike changed. He no longer showed off or scared the smaller fishes. Instead, he used his strength to protect his friends and help them whenever they needed it. And for the first time, Spike felt truly happy, not because he was the strongest, but because he was finally a good friend. <laughs> the Ant and the Grasshopper once upon a time, in a beautiful meadow, there lived a hard-working ant and a carefree grasshopper. All summer long, 
the ant walked tirelessly, gathering food and storing it in his cozy ant hill. For the winter, he carried grain after grain, never stopping for a moment. Meanwhile, the grasshopper spent his days singing, dancing and enjoying the warm sunshine. He laughed at the ant. Why do you work so hard and come and sing with me? There's a plenty of time to gather food later, the grasshopper said. The ant being wise and thoughtful replied, I am preparing for winter. When the cold weather comes, there will be no food to find. You should gather food too, grasshopper, so you won't go hungry. But the grasshopper just laughed and continued to play. He did not worry about the future and thought the ant was silly for working so hard. As summer turned to autumn, the days became shorter and cooler. The ant continued his diligent work while the grasshopper still played and sang without a care in the world. Finally, winter arrived. The ground was covered with snow and meadow was silent and empty. There was no food to be found. The grasshopper shivered in the cold and grew very hungry. He realized he had not prepared for the winters at all. The ant felt sorry for the grasshopper but also wanted to teach them a lesson. Grasshopper the ant said kindly, I worked hard all summer to prepare for this winter. If I share my food with you, there might not be enough for both of us. The grasshopper hung his head in shame. I understand now. And I should have listened to you and prepared for the winter. I promise to work hard next year. The ant thought for a moment and then decided to help the grasshopper. Come in grasshopper, you can share my food this winter. But next year, you must work hard and prepare like I did. The grasshopper was grateful and thankful the ant. He learned an important lesson that day. It's important to plan and work hard for the future. From that day on, the grasshopper worked alongside the ant, gathering food and preparing for the season ahead. And when summer came again, the grasshopper did not just sing and dance. He worked hard, knowing that winter would come and it was important to be ready.